This is Stephen Smith with MyHTT with a quick tips and tricks session for NXCAM. One of the frequent requirements is getting accurate setup instructions down to the shop floor. So what I've got open here is SIM 08, the out of the box five axis part setup. We left everything as it comes out of the box. What I'm going to do is click the machine setup instructions icon up here at the left. and I'm going to retrieve the NX data. So what this is going to do is it's going to collect information about all of the different operations, all of the programs, all of our tools, as well as the coordinate systems. That data is then going to get laid out for us in a way that where we can manipulate a little bit and add some comments, and then eventually we'll package that up into a nice PDF and send it onto the shop floor. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the information that we have extracted. So what we've got here is our general document. Um, we can put in a title. So this might be uh, maybe a project number or whatever else information you may want, as well as a comment. We're going to know everything about the sample file, who the programmer was, the date when it was uh, produced. If we go ahead and we hit next, you'll get all of your different programs. So if we look here on the left, all of these basic folders. So if I just drop this down, you'll see, for example, like roughing this corresponds uh, program over here we see that it's three operations the three operations total are 28 percent of the cycle time of the program we can put some comments in here so maybe i'm just going to put in a comment uh, track tool life just asking the operator report back on some tool life for the roughing operation or sorry for the roughing program if i go ahead and hit next now we'll be able to see our individual operations so you see we can either uh, just click through them here or we can select individual ones. Um, and what we end up with is we kind of get a summary here. So what the uh, program name is, the offsets, we get some tool information as well as some sort of process information. We can, of course, add comments here to uh, for the operator as he's running the part. If we go on and we go look at the tool information, we get these sort of nice 2D um, generated images. It just helps us to understand what some of these tools look like. So the dimensions here are generally on the high level, right? So it's a quick sanity check for the operator to make sure that the stick out and diameters and stuff are correct. He can obviously see the more uh, specific details here with this little table view, and that'll give him some additional information to work from. Um, one thing that we can also set up here is our fixture offset. So this it, this view is generated the same way that all of the other views are for this tool. Um, so it's an automated, it's the best guess sort of from the software. But what we can do is I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm going to zoom in quite a bit more just because I really want to get a better view of that. And I'll bring this back and I'll just capture this. And that captures the actual NX window. Just allows us to edit it. And for my uh, rotated view, I'm also going to do the same thing. So we see the rotated is the Z is now rel uh, normal to this green face. Go ahead and hit next. This allows me to select what I would like to generate. I'm going to leave everything as enabled. We're going to go ahead and hit export PDF. So in this case, uh, just go ahead and select your output folder, and we'll give this a moment to compute. So if we scroll to the top of this document, what we'll see is that this is Project 001. I didn't put any comments in. We get a nice table of contents. So this gives us all of our different programs, all the operations, all of our tools and our fixture offsets. Um, so everything here is easy to find. As we scroll through, Remember, I put a comment in track tool life for the roughing program. And again, this gives the operator a bit of an overview of what's going on. You would obviously put your logo up here in the top left corner. Once we get through all of the different programs, we'll look at some of the individual operations. So for each operation, we see what program that operation is part of. We see the fixture offset, some of the tooling data, and we get a sort of high level um, information about what our cutting conditions look like and this is true for every single operation just scroll through when we get over to the tools obviously we could have put some additional comments in here but here are your tool setup sheets these contain the information the tool names uh, the tool numbers 
all the descriptions. Everything is here for the operator to set up. When we look at our offsets, again, this is the view that we had zoomed in on a little bit more just to get a better view of. Um, and you can see here that the Z is normal to the red surface. We could have obviously put some comments in. And here at the end, the Z is now normal to the green face. And we get a bit of a summary sheet to just give us an idea of uh, some of the times involved for each operation in total time, as well as broken down um, time based on different uh, criteria. So if you want to know what your air cutting time is, for example, you can extract that from here. Are you guys using the setup instructions sheet? Was it something you would like to know more about? Some best practice information? Let us know at myHTT.